Hello, everybody. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Excellent. Hi, hello. Welcome back to your English class, everybody. I missed you. All right, yes. today we have the last class of the week. Ahora tenemos la última clase de la semana, así que let's push ourselves. Hoy sí, nos vamos a presionar mucho. <laughs> no, just kidding, all right? Let's see, let's work on it. Does it have a view? Hoy sí, vamos a iniciar completamente y terminar con la section 2, right? Es probable que nos hagan falta nada más la parte de los readings, que está al final, pero lo más, eh, lo más interesante o fuerte, eso sí lo vamos a ver aquí en la clase y lo vamos a explicar, ¿ok? So here we go, we are in class number 4. Do you remember? Mention at least three vocabulary words related to house and apartment. Cecilia Romero. Let's see, Ceci. Tell me three. Dígame tres palabras que estén relacionadas a vocabulario que vimos ayer de apartamentos o casas. Okay. Uh, living room, dining room, bathroom, kitchen. All right, excellent. Easy peasy, right? Está bien facilito, dígame. <laughs> excellent. Thank you. Very good. What about Nestor Amilcar? Let's see, Nestor. Tell me three vocabulary words. Solo me va a dar tres palabras relacionadas a el vocabulario de casas o apartamentos. All right, teacher. Hi, good evening. Uh, stays. Uh -huh. uh, living room. Bedroom. Bathroom. Um, uh, kitchen. Kitchen. Excellent. Very good job. Let's check. Thank you. Let me go with Lorena Santa Maria, please. Jesus, <laughs> no, la, no reconocía su nombre, Emma. All right. <laughs> Let's good evening. Good evening. Uh, ¿Cómo le digo, Lorena Good evening. Como ustedes se. Ok, excelente. Emma, tell me three words, please, related yeah. to how. Ok. Um, bedroom. Bathroom. Garage, lobby, mm -hmm. yard, living room, dining room, kitchen, hall. All right, um, excellent. You remember a lot of them. Yes. Very it's enough. <laughs> All right. Now, let me check, everybody. Regálenme un segundo. Solo voy a conectar mi cable de internet porque me puede fallar el internet y no los quiero dejar en medio de la clase, right? Give me one sec. All right, let's continue. Let's see. We have the vocabulary about house and apartment. Many of you have already told me in some words related to it, but still I want to listen to some others. Aunque ya algunos me dijeron el vocabulary, me dijeron unas cuantas palabras, de igual manera voy a pasar a algunos de ustedes al que me digan el vocabulary, porque no todos pasaron ayer. So, let's see. Si ustedes pasaron ayer, pueden decirme, all right, no hay ningún problema, y así yo avanzo con alguien más. Y si quieren volver a pasar, no problem too. Let's start with Yesenia Vázquez. Hello. 
Hello, good evening. Good evening. Yesenia, ¿usted me dijo este vocabulary ayer o no? Ah, uh, no. Okay, action. Okay. Uh, house, first floor, dining room, kitchen, laundry room, living room, stairs, yard, garage, closet, bedroom, uh, bathroom, home, stairs, an apartment, bathroom, bedroom, dining room, living room, closet, kitchen, elevator, lobby. All right, excellent. Thank you, Jessenia. Very good job. Let's go with Mayrene. Good evening, Mayrene. Good evening, teacher. Okay, honey, please tell me the vocabulary. Me regala el vocabulario. Uh, dinner room, kitchen, living room, years, um, landing room, style, bedroom one, bedroom two, closet, bedroom three, bathroom, style, garage, bedroom, closet, dining room, dining room, kitchen, elevator, living room, lobby. All right, excellent. Thank you, Mayrene. That was correct. Okay. Now, everybody, we want to something else, right? Recordemos que ahora tenemos que ver toda la sección 2 para que ustedes se queden trabajando en ella. Así que veamos que tenemos por aquí. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Estas son las preguntas que conocemos como yes or no questions, right? ¿Por qué se llaman así? Porque se responden con un yes or con un no. No es porque comienzan con yes or no. Y si se fijan, no brindan mayor información. Solo vamos directo al punto. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. What does Chris, no, sorry. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Ahora los voy a poner a ustedes a practicar. Let's see. René Portillo, you ask. Usted va a preguntar en... Cecilia Rodríguez, you answer. Usted responde. Action. Okay. Do you like in the apart apartment? Yes, I do. Do, do the bedroom have a window? No, they don't. Both answers, Cecilia. Ambas. Eh, respuestas. Ok. No, they do. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does Chris live in the house? Yes, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a jar? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Aha, uh -huh, that's correct. Thank you, guys. Let's go with Beatriz Campos. You ask Beatriz. Usted pregunta. And Mayra, usted contesta. You answer. Action. Do you live in, in the apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Not. I don't, perdón. Do the bedrooms have uh, windows? Yes, they do. No, they no, don't. Does Chris living in the house? Yes, he does. No, he does not. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it does not. 
Exactly. No, it doesn't. Very good job. Thank you, guys. Now, everybody, una, eh, como un paréntesis aquí, all right? Esta palabra, no, puedes decir, no podemos decir apartment, porque entonces es casi como si lo dijéramos en español, apartamento, right? Tenemos que decir apartment, no tiene otra, no tiene tres A, solo tiene dos, apartment, apartment, apartment. Let's check, let's move on with somebody else. Vamos con una última pareja, Raquel Santos, you ask. Usted pregunta, Raquel Santos. And Juan José Pineda, you answer. Action. Ok. ¿Cuál pregunta? Usted hace las preguntas y Juan José... Contesta. Cualquiera. Todas. Ok. Oh. Do you live in apartment? Yes, I do. Do the bathroom have windows? No, they don't. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. Does the house have a yard? No, I doesn't. No, I it it doesn't. All right, excellent. Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go to the practice time. Ya tenemos aquí, recuerdan ustedes la structure, ¿verdad? Estas son las yes or no questions. La estructura nos dice que utilizamos el do plus subject plus verb plus complement. All right? Y luego el question mark, el signo de interrogación. No nos olvidemos. For the pronouns, I you, we, and they, utilizamos el do o el don't. Claro está, no vamos a iniciar una pregunta con el don't, all right? No vamos a hacer eso. For the pronouns he, she, it, tenemos el does o el doesn't. Cuando les ponen aquí las opciones en negativas es por el hecho de que ustedes van a contestar con esas, right? Pero para hacer sus preguntas, utilizamos el do o el does. All right. Now, with that being said, habiendo dicho esto, let's go to practice. Let's practice. Ya les voy a poner esa otra guidance slide. Solo les quiero dar las instructions. Ya no voy a hablar mucho yo las instructions. Ya no las voy a dar yo. Voy a poner a leerlas a alguien. Alexis Hurtado, please tell me the instructions. Hi, Miss. Hello, good evening. Thank you. Eh, eh, okay, tengo que leer, perdón. Yes. Sí. Ok. Word individually create at least three questions you see. Auxiliary to are thus according to your subject. Three, uh, then has your question to your classmate. Exactly, that's correct, sir. Thank you. All right, everybody, let's check. Dice, vamos a trabajar individualmente. Crea al menos tres preguntas utilizando el do or does. All right. Y luego las vamos a compartir con el salón de clase o con los compañeros. Cuando dice according to your subject, se refiere que va a ser, va a utilizar el do o el does, dependiendo de su sujeto. ¿Ok? Estas solo son las instructions. Vamos a ponerles esta guiding slide para que las puedan realizar. ¿Ok? Recuerden la estructura que les brindé de ayer, ¿ok?
If you need help or you need something, let me know. Solo les recuerdo. Tenemos distintos verbs. Tenemos bastantes. Una cantidad enorme de verbos, right? Tenemos, for example, eat, que es comer. Drive, que es manejar. Eh, stand, que es pararse. Sit, sentarse, right? Um, talk, hablar. Watch, mirar, right? Listen, escuchar. Tienen diversos verbos. Solo necesitan seguir la estructura. Do you, right? Finish, teacher. Excellent. Very good, Emma. Thank you. Finish, teacher. Finish, teacher. Very good. Very good. We have more people. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's start with Emma. Aha, uh -huh, Emma. Tell me. Your, no, no me las va a decir a mí. Se las va a preguntar uh -huh. a alguien mejor, right? Se las va a preguntar uh -huh. a, let me check. <coughs> Cecilia Romero, ¿ok? Usted le va a preguntar esas questions a Cecilia Romero y ella va a contestar ya sea con el okay. do o el does, right? Action. Okay. Hi, Cecilia Romero. Do you have a car? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. um, does, does Cecilia want to dance at night? Mm -hmm. No lo entendí. Does Cecilia want to dance uh -huh. at to night? Dance, you know? Dance. Bailar? All yes, right. I do. <laughs> yes, she does. <laughs> En tercera persona, yes, she does. <laughs> yes, she does. <laughs> All right. Very good. Thank you so much, Emma. Now, uh, Cecilia, did you finish? Terminó? Yes. Or no? Yes. Okay. Usted le va a preguntar a Nerio. Please, Nerio, usted va a contestar las preguntas de Cecilia. Okay. Action. Okay. Do you like... In a house? Do you live in a house? Do you live, do you live in a house? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, I do. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, your house has a garage? Does your house? Yes, it's it does. Ajá. Si sí, hay alcance a leerle yo los labios a Nerio, right? Recuerde, Cecilia, su pregunta está muy buena, right? Solo agréguele el does, porque house equivale al sujeto it, right? Recuerde has, que el, ajá, da, has, no, does no. your house, does your ajá. house have does your house? Ajá. Uh -huh. ah, okay. Right. Very Thank good you. job. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Let's see another one. Algún otro voluntario que ya finalizó y quiere que le haga un check in en esas questions. María, Mayra, Mayra Romero. Action, Mayra. A ver, Mayra, ya le digo a quién le va a preguntar. Le va a preguntar a Yesenia Vázquez. All right. Y luego Yesenia le pregunta a Mayra. Action. Okay. Do you have a car new? A new car. Ah, perdón, a new car. Uh, perdón, repeat please. Do you have a new car? Yes, I do. Excellent. Another one, Mayra? Does she run for the park? 
Does she run? Does she run on the park? Uh, For the park? No, no, I don't. No, I don't. Do we eat a cake for happy birthday today? I... Ok, Mayra, that one. No se preocupe, Yesenia. Voy a hacer un paréntesis ahí en esa, Mayra. ¿Qué quiere decir? Let's check. Mm, nosotros comimos como pastel por uh, un cumpleaños, cumpleaños hoy. Exacto. No sé si lo formule bien. bien. Comimos es past. Right? Algo que ya pasó. Entonces, ese es simple present. Y ahorita ah, estamos en present. Perdón, sí, nosotros comemos pastel, quise decir, por un cumpleaños hoy. Ah, all right. Entonces, puede figurarla así o formularla así. Do we eat cake? Eat, eat cake. Uh -huh. Ok. Do we eat cake for happy birthday today? All right. Yes, I do. Ah, very, yes, we do, Yesenia. Porque ella utilizó el subject we. We, nosotros. Uh -huh, exactly. Entonces, ahí va, ahí va usted, pero tiene que utilizar el subject en vez de yes, I do. Uh -huh. Yes, uh -huh. we. Uh, ¿Cómo tendría que ser entonces la yes, we yes, we do. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. Exacto. Uh -huh. Siempre hay que escuchar, everybody. Estos son muy claros, estos ejemplos son... Eh, justo los que necesitamos, right? Ya no tanto con el I o do you, sino que ya utilizando el we o el they también son muy funcionales, como hizo Mayra, porque nos ayuda a entrenar más el oído todavía, right? Eh, ya no estamos utilizando el subject I, sino que lo cambiamos por we. Entonces en la respuesta también le ponemos el we, right? Excellent, thank you, girls. Ahora Yesenia, usted le pregunta a Mayra. Ok. <coughs> Do you go in a bank? No, I don't know. Do you have a dog? Sorry? Do you have a dog? Have. Do. Uh, do you have a dog? Uh. Yes, I, I do. Do you dance salsa? No, I do not. <laughs> Why? Excellent, Yesenia and Mayra, very good. Now you see, ya estamos saliendo de esa área de confort para figurar nuestras questions. Excellent. Very good job, girls. Now, let me see, do I have another volunteer? Ah, Mayrene, excellent. Ok, Mayrene, usted le va a preguntar a Marvin y cuando usted finalice de preguntarle y Marvin conteste, él le va a preguntar a usted. Ok. Marvin, do you have a fever? Do you have? Do you have a fever? Fever. Fiebre. Fever. Sí, fiebre. Do you have fever? Uh, it's okay. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I do. You do have you fever? Have, yes. It's uh, a crown. <laughs> oh, no, honey. I hope you get better. Espero que se recupera, right? Thank you. First hour for it. But, uh, uh -huh. let's check another oh. one. Excuse me. Yeah. Do you have a, do you have a, oh, a son? Do you have a son? Son is Completo. equal. Son is equal. Son is equal. Son is equal. Son is equal. Son uh, are no, you married? No, no, no. The, yes or no? Uh, do you have yes, a I son? Do. Yes, I do. Yes, uh, I do. Yes, we're but, married. But uh, do, 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 the hija, do, do. Uh, no, yes. All right, excellent. Very good. Ah, Thank it's okay. You. All right, yeah. He's married. Do you like? He doesn't have son. 
right? Uh, <laughs> it's okay. Do you like eating a chicken? Yes, I yes I do. Mm -hmm. Very good job. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> ya en, vamos my, fluyendo más. Okay, Martin. My turn. My yes, turn. Yes, your turn, sir. Uh, no, number one. <laughs> the, do you buy in a building? Bowling. Do you like? Do you like? Yes, I do. Bowling is boliche, my Right? Yes, I do. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Second. Does the house have a jar? I don't understand. Does the house have a jar? I am sorry. Jar, what is the meaning of? Jar is patio. All right, does ah. house? You know, yes, yes, yes. I, yes, I, Yes, I do. I have two. All right. Continue, Marvin, with the last one. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you speak English? Yeah. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> yes, I do. All right. Okay. No problem. Saben que. Siento que se ponen nerviosos y los comprendo, right? Es totalmente entendible. All right. Now, in that one, my name, in the case of Marvin, I le pregunto, does the house have a yard? Si usted escucha, dice, does the house? No, dice, does your house? All right, entonces, ahí usted, si usted gusta, puede contestar, yes, it does, or no, it does. All right? Uh, it's okay, thank you. Excellent, very good. De igual thank manera, you, Muchas gracias por estar presente, aunque está enferma, my name. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, let's move on to somebody else. Let's check. No, we're going to finish over here with the practice. Uh, let's see. <coughs> we have new vocabulary, guys. Vamos a terminar ahí con la práctica. No porque me olvide de los demás y piensen mal. All right. Sino porque tenemos vocabulary, tenemos que practicarlo, tenemos una conversation. Y un tema que ser desarrollado. So let's see, we have. Voy a poner el puntero. Armchairs. Armchairs. Stuff. Curtains. No voy a decir curtains. No, no, no. Curtains. Curtains. Pictures. Clock. Bed, lamps, desk, television, sofa, rug, mirror, refrigerator, micro, no micro, microwave oven, microwave oven, chairs, dresser, coffee table, Table and bookcase. Right? Ahora los pongo ustedes. Let's see. Hmm, let me start with Alexis Hurtado. Okay, Alexis, tell me the vocabulary, sí. please. Armchairs, stove, curtains, pictures, clock, bell. Lamp, desk, sofa, television, trunk, mirror, refrigerator, chair, microwave oven, dresser, coffee table, table, bookcase. That's correct. Excellent, Alexis. Thank you. Only, intentemos esta, Alexis. Curtains. 
currents. Current. Current. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Current. It's very good. Thank you. Let me go with another person. Carla Abre. Okay, Carla, please tell me the vocabulary. Current, antes que lo olvide. Mm -hmm. Current, picture, clocks, lamps, bed, desk, room, television, sofa, esa sí no me acuerdo. Mm -hmm. Mirror. 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 No, sofá es la que no sé cómo se. Sofa, eso les quería comentar. Sofa. Okay. Thank you, Carlita. Sofa. Déjame, voy a decir eso. No se olviden, es sofa, everybody. Porque dice sofa, no vamos a decir sofa, right? Mm -hmm. Tenemos que decir sofa. Excelente, Carla. Continue, sorry. Ok, sofa. Refrigerator. Chairs. Microwave oven. Coffee table. Table. Dresser. Bookcase, stove, arm, arm, arm chair. Arm? Arm, chair. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bravo, Bye. girl. Excellent. Very good job for your effort. All right. Eso me gusta que intenten. Lo hacen bien, así que no tengan pena. All right. Lo hacen muy bien. Let's go with a boy. Juan Jose Pineda. Action, please. Hello. Eh, Hello. Stove. Curtains. Microwave oven. Eh, coffee table. Dresser. Bookcase. Chair. Mirror. Refrigerator. Pictures. Clock. Lamps. Soft. Roof. Television. Desk. Bed. Mm. Creo que ya están todas. Yeah, all, only those. Excellent. Thank you, Juan. All right, everybody. Let me go with Emma. Action, Emma. Arm chairs, stove, table, bookcase, coffee table, dresser. Shares, mirror, microwave oven, cur curtains, pictures, clock, lamps, bell, desk, television, sofa, refrigerator, mirror, rope. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you, Emma. All right, guys, let me give you some hidden glues that we have over here, right? No, it's not about glues. Um, voy a hacer, les voy a comentar algo, right? Hay palabras que ustedes las van a encontrar en el inglés, <laughs> si no es que la mayoría, que se escriben de una manera, pero no se pronuncian todas las letras de la palabra, right? Como el caso de walk, que veíamos ayer. Walk, no decimos la L, solo decimos walk, right? Inclusive llega a sonar como si tuviéramos, oh, Alex, okay. ¿tiene una duda? Sí, con respecto a la televisión, uh -huh. eh, como veo que es de la generación anterior, las uh -huh. actuales también se les dice así es televisión o, o se pronuncia como eh, comercialmente se conoce en Smart TV. No, se le, siempre se les dice televisión o TV, nada más. Porque aunque hay nuevas, no, no todas creo que son Smart, right? <ríe> hay personas que no tienen Smart, Alexis. Ok, gracias. All right. Let's check. You're welcome. Lo que les quería comentar. Ya habrán escuchado ustedes la palabra montaña en inglés. Me imagino yo. Mount. Right? Mountain. Ajá, Marvin. There you have it. Eso iba. Se escribe mountain, pero no se pronuncia así. All right? Literal. Así se escribe mountain, pero no se pronuncia así. Se pronuncia mount. Es que, es que me suena porque, bueno, eh, eh, hay un parque de diversiones en Estados Unidos que es Magic Mountain, le dice. Exactly, there it comes. Inclusive Entonces, a veces en los commercials. No hay nada más la palabra montaña, 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 montaña mágica. 
All right, imagine, exactly. Now, a veces en los commercials, inclusive en los commercials no lo dicen bien a veces, right? En algunos, así generales, no lo dicen bien. Entonces, ¿qué sucede? Lo mismo es que curtains. Básicamente la A y la I no se pronuncia, right? Solo decimos curtains. Curtains, lo mismo que mount. Mount, right? So there you have it. Son unos quick tips, unos tips rápidos que les quería comentar. Para que no se vayan a asustar si de repente ven la palabra y la teacher no la pronuncia como la palabra está escrita, porque a veces tiene otra pronunciación. Mom, right. okay. <laughs> Excellent, very good. Now, guys, with that being said, let's move on. Ya habiendo dicho eso, vamos a lo bueno. Let's see, getting examples. No se duerman, everybody. Ya vamos a terminar, okay? <laughs> y necesito aclarar eso. Let's see, my living room has a sofa. A television and a bookcase. Let's see, Cecilia. Tell me, what does your living room have? ¿Qué tiene su living room, Cecilia? Uh, my living has a sofa, television, mm -hmm. um, the, no sé, módulo, no sé cómo se dice. Bookcase. Mueble. ¿Eh? Bookcase. Bookcase. Ah, ok. Bookcase. Uh, uh, picture. Pictures, ajá. Uh -huh. Picture. Uh -huh. uh, clock. 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 Uh -huh. uh, ¿Qué más tiene la sala? Uh, flowers. Flowers, really. That's so uh -huh. cute. Excelente. Eh, cortines, eh, eh, cortinas, ¿cómo se dice? Curtains. Cur. Mm -hmm. Curtains. Curtains. Uh -huh. All right. Don't worry, Cecilia, no se preocupe. Entre más lo practique y lo escuche, más se le va a quedar. All right. Eh, pero creo que. Finish. <risa> Finish. Only that. Very good. Qué bonito. Yo ni reloj tengo. <risa> All right. Excelente, Cecilia. Very good. Calendario. Calendarias. A, cal a calendar, really? Ah, uh, okay. Imagine, I don't even have that one. <laughs> We're okay. still in January and I don't know even which month. <laughs> Excellent, okay. Cecilia, Thank very you. good. Thank you. Beatriz Campos, what does your living room have? ¿Qué tiene living room? <clears throat> My living room has a sofa. Television, bookcase, clock, um, covering, uh, ¿cómo es? cortinas, curtains, Cor mm -hmm. um, windows, mm -hmm. um, table, um, I'm sure. Armchairs. Uh -huh. um, char. Chairs. Uh, um, can... You don't have a sofa. Yes. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, girl. Thank you, Beatriz. Very good. Yo aquí imaginándome en los living rooms en todos. All right. <laughs> Let's check. Emma. Let's see, Emma. What does your living room have? My living room has two armchairs, mm -hmm. a television, mm -hmm. um, coffee table, table. curtains, 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 curtains. Um, my computer is in the, in the, living, in the room. living room. Um, a radio, a lamp, a picture. A picture. Only, right. that. Only one picture. Mm, several pictures. <laughs> Excellent. Mm -hmm. Very good, Emma. Mm -hmm. Very good. Alexis, now I'm going to finish with Alexis. Let's see, Alexis. What does your living room have? ¿Qué tiene su living room? ¿De cuál Alexis? <risa> ay, ay, tengo dos Alexis, es true. Sí. Let me check. Eh, Alexis Valmore Pérez. Your microphone, Alexis. Ah, 
Ay, no, se le enciende la parte. <laughs> Jesus. My living room has a sofa, a television, a broadcast, a window, a, a reloj, reloj es, <laughs> reloj, <Eh>, finish. <laughs> Only that, excellent, very good. That sounds a little bit normal like mine, all right? Excellent, thank you guys, very good. Now you see, easy peasy. El vocabulary que ustedes acaban de adquirir lo han puesto en práctica probablemente con una pregunta simple, all right? ¿Qué tienes en tu living room, en tu sala de espera o en tu sala normal, all right? In your living room, eso significa. Así que ahí me lo utilizaron la mayoría de ustedes, excellent. Let's move on. Um, we're not gonna work on this one. Quiero que hagamos esta conversation. There aren't any chairs. Now, vamos a ver un tema que se llama there is and there are. All right. Ya les vamos a explicar un poquito. Ya les voy a explicar un poco más de eso. Veamos la conversation. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it. But I really need some furniture. Furniture is mobiliaria, right? What do you need? Oh, I need a lots of things. I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. All right, say independizó, pero no tiene nada en la casa. All right, so that's basically, because she has, Shares, but she doesn't have a table. Tiene la silla, pero no tiene la mesa, right? No tiene sillón, no tiene sofá, right? So it's kind of sad. Let's check. I'm going to have Nestor Amilcar, you are Chris. Flor de María, you are Linda. Action. Hi. This apart is great. Thank you, I love it. I love, I love, but I really need some for time. What do you need? Oh, I need look of things. There are some chair in the kitchen, but there is not a table. Um, there is no sofa here in the living room. And three are not and shy. There is only this land. So let's go shopping next weekend. Excellent. Bravo. Very good. So, uh, Mr. Let me check. Mr. Rivera, you're going to pay for the chairs and the table, right? <laughs> Usted va a comprar la, la table. <laughs> All right. Yes. You're going shopping. Estaba de compras with Linda. All right, excellent. Thank you, guys. Let me have René Portillo. You are Chris, Yesenia Vasquez. You are Linda. Action. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it. But I really need. What do you need? Oh, I need last of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. There's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. That's great. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Now, Cecilia Rodriguez, you are Linda, and Alexis Hurtado, you are Chris. Action. Okay, this apartment is great. Thank, I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need a lot of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. 
and there aren't any chair. There is only this lamp. So let's go shopping next, Wilkin. That's correct. Excellent. Yes. Thank you, Jess. All right, let's see. Juan Jose Pineda, you are Chris. Jasmine, you are Linda. Action. Okay. This apparently is great. Sam, I love it about. It really needs some for new. What do you need? Oh, I. Oh, I need lost things. They are sunshine in the kitchen, but they isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. Um, they no sofa here, here is living room. So let's go shopping next weekend. All right, excellent. Thank you, guys. There was a mix of confusion, of confusion over there, but don't worry. Thank you. Now, let me go with Carla Abrego. You are Linda and Alexis Valmore Perez. You are Chris. Action. This apartment is great. Thanks, I love it. But I'll really need some for Tonier. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there is, in, is not a table. And there is not sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs there's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. That's correct. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Jess. <laughs> okay. Let me see, guys. Les ayudo con esta word a todos, all right? Porque a todos nos cuesta. No se preocupen. Furniture. 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 All right? Es un poco difícil porque tenemos la U, pero no la estamos utilizando. All right, furniture, furniture, furniture. Now, you just need to practice with it. Yo sí les voy a ser bien honesta. En este campo, lo más que puede, se puede hacer luego de que el docente lo repite unas tres o cuatro veces, como acabo de hacer, es que ustedes traten de repetirlo también, all right? Y a algunas personas les funciona. Yo ya he tenido personas en el curso que les funciona mucho eh, copiar como ellas lo escuchan, ¿all right? Si saben cuál es el correcto, ¿verdad? Si saben cuál es la escritura correcta, pero les funciona también copiar como un sound, como un sonido que ellos escuchan, ¿all right? So, si ustedes consideran que eso les, les beneficia, you can do it. Let's see. There is, there are separados Así son, ¿verdad? Si contracción, así es. There is, there are. Pero ya tenemos las contractions aquí. There's a bed in the bedroom. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't. Ok, si tenemos aquí la contraction, tenemos que utilizar la contraction. All right? There isn't. Si dijera, si dijese, perdón, si dijese, there is not, I see. Pero aquí dice, there isn't a table in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. Now, Emma, please, read again these three sentences. Only these three, please. There's a bed in the bedroom. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't, isn't a table in the kitchen. That's correct. Very good. Mayrene Fuentes, 
read these other three. Si puede, me lee estas otras tres oraciones, please. It's okay, teacher. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chair in the living room. There aren't, aren't any chair in the living room. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Did you notice, you. guys? Ellas utilizaron las contractions, right? Si están ahí las contractions, once again, una vez más, utilicemos. Es entendible que en la conversation no la utilizamos quizás todo porque no la conocíamos cómo se pronunciaba la contraction, pero ahora lo estamos haciendo. All right? So let's go with Marvin. Read again. Me lee de nuevo. Estas tres sentences, these three sentences, please. Okay. Uh, there's a bed in the bedroom. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. That's correct, sir. Thank you. Now, Beatriz Campos, these other three sentences, please. There are some chairs in the chicken. There are no chairs in the living room. There are not any chairs in the living room. That's correct, there aren't. Repeat after me, Beatriz, there aren't. There aren't. Uh -huh. Very good, thank you. Okay. Thank Raquel you. Santos, this three, please. Estas, estas tres que tenemos aquí, please, Raquel. Okay. There is a bed in the bedroom. There is no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. That's correct. Thank you. And Cecilia Rodriguez, these other three sentences, please. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Now, guys, before I move on, antes de pasarme a la siguiente slide, que es las estructuras, ¿tienen alguna duda en la pronunciation aquí en esta parte? No. All right, let's move on. Vamos con las structures. Yo voy a leer una vez las structures. Estas copien las, los que tienen el notebook, el cuaderno y quieren tener sus anotaciones, copy this, All right? Les va a funcionar mucho. Let's see. Voy a decir las structures. Listen carefully. Escuchemos cuidadosamente y atentamente. Porque luego me las van a decir ustedes. All right? <coughs> There... For singular objects, all right? Esta es para el singular. For singular objects. A structure. There plus is or isn't plus a or no plus complement. Ustedes ya saben que la pleca significa or, okay? Es decir, pueden utilizar a o no. Literalmente la palabra no. Luego tenemos for plural objects. Para los plurales. There plus are or aren't plus some or any or no plus complement. All right, let's check. ¿Por qué hay tantas plecas, teacher? Eso hace más difícil todavía utilizarlas, all right? Sí, es cierto, lo dificulta un poquito más tener más de una opción, tener más de una opción. Pero lo necesitan porque en el caso del there are, por ejemplo, para los plurales, tenemos there are o there aren't. Yo puedo decir there are some chairs, como vieron ustedes en el ejemplo, there are some chairs. O puedo decir, there aren't any chairs. No hay ninguna, right? Paso de tener algunas a no tener ninguna. Any, ninguna. El any exclusivamente lo van a utilizar solo con el negativo. Hago este paréntesis aquí. El any solo va con el negativo. Right? Yo no puedo decir, there are any. No, no, no. 
porque estoy mezclando positivo con negativo y eso no se puede gramaticalmente. Right? So there aren't any, any chairs in my living room. All right? No hay ninguna silla en mi living room. O there are no, there are no, aquí puedo utilizar el are plus not, o me quedo con la forma contractada que sería aren't. There aren't chairs in the living room. All right? Este no se los puse porque así les aparece a ustedes en la structure. Pero en teoría podríamos borrarlo y asumir que el aren't es ese, porque eso es lo mismo, right? El aren't es la contracción entre el are, no. All right? So there you have it. Copy this. Ahora voy a poner a algunos de ustedes a que me digan la structure. Marvin, do you have a question or do you want to participate? I have a question, teacher. Uh -huh. este, no. Es de manera general, porque veo que se utilizan bastante las contracciones en inglés, pero no sé si usted, teacher, ha tenido la, la oportunidad de, de, de hablar con anglosajones de los propios de los Estados Unidos. Uh -huh. Si ellos Natives. utilizan bastante las contracciones o, o, o de manera general utilizan una o la otra, la forma larga o la contracción. Me no, they do, use, they do use contractions. La mayoría de veces, si no es que siempre, they use contractions. Sí, he tenido la oportunidad inclusive de servirles de traductor a ellos. And yes, my okay. friend, they oh, do okay. have contractions. Ajá, para familiarizar, familiarizarse. Uno tiene que conocer la estructura tanto larga como la contracción, ¿verdad? Para... Exactly. Eso es lo bonito del programa que ustedes tienen aquí con inglés corporativo que aquí les muestran las dos formas, right? Porque tienen que saberlo. Inclusive por detalles como el vocabulary, podríamos asumir que porque somos adultos no necesitamos el vocabulary, pero sí se necesita, si no, ¿cómo vamos a formar las sentences, right? ¿Con qué vamos okay. a formar las oraciones? Excellent, Marvin, very good. Okay. Very good, everybody. Ahora sí, ya para terminar, necesito que Cecilia Romero, tell me, the structure for singular objects. Me regala la estructura para singular, please. Okay. For singular objects. Structure. ¿Cómo dijo que se mencionaba? Structure. Structure. Mm -hmm. Structure. Excellent. Structure, okay. There. Plus. plus there plus is or Isn't plus a or no or plus complement. That's correct. Excellent. Very good. Aquí ya no necesitamos esta, esta or. Okay. Excellent, Cecilia. Very good. Y tomo notas. Excellent. Let's go with Mayra. Mayra, tell me the structure for plural objects. Para los plurals. There, plus, are, or, are in, or, plus, some, or, any, or, no, um, plus, complement. That's correct. Excellent, Mayra. Very good job, you guys. Now you see? Todos lo dijeron excelente. Thank you. Now, everybody, ya sé que tienen sueño. Me despido con ustedes. De, ¿Me despido con ustedes? Yes. All right. Ya se me olvidó el español. <laughs> All right, guys. I will see you on Monday. Descansen mucho. Completen la platform. Si necesitan ayuda, me avisan. Pero sí la tienen que completar. All right. And I will see you on Monday. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. See you on Monday. Bye. 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 Have a great night. See you. Bye. Bye. Bye.